Hello. If, like me, you've got more than one webcam attached to your system, then you may have experienced the phenomenon of them jumping around, which is to say that the device files in dev video aren't guaranteed to stay the same and consistent. Um, for instance, most of the time video zero will be the internal camera, but it's not always. Um, the order that they're assigned in is literally to the order that the system discovered the devices and if the system is already booted then that will be the order in which you connected them but if they were all already connected when the system booted then it's a roll of the dice really um, yeah uh, they're just not guaranteed to be the same now some things about them do stay the same like their name and they have names and the system is aware of them and if we have a look at LSUSB we can see some names there you go, webcam C270, webcam C920. I think this is the internal camera, um, though why its name wouldn't appear, I'm not sure. So the question is, how do we map these names to these files? And the answer lies in the sys directory. Now the sys directory is a virtual file system. It doesn't exist on any disk but like proc and dev the kernel just kind of invents them for us um, they are used to interact with the kernel at user space essentially is my shaky understanding so they are devices these webcams and they are going to be under the devices directory but let's not go in there uh, for reasons that will become evident in a moment. Instead, we'll just try and narrow down what we want and say we're looking for video devices. We're looking for a class of device. So, sys, class, and we see there are all different types of device. We have printer devices, we have uh, LEDs, we have firmware, GPIO, graphics, and video for Linux. So if we have a look in video for Linux, the video for Linux driver has identified three video devices that are attached to the system. Video 0, video 1 and video 2. Those map up with what we saw in the dev directory. Now we can't see it there but if we look a little bit closer we'll see that they are actually sim links into the devices directory, the one that I steered us away from. Because if you look at these paths, they're not friendly. Um, so it's a lot easier to find what we're looking for through sys class rather than directly through sys devices. Now, again, it's not very clear from this, but those are actually directories. And if we have a look inside one of them, video zero, there are some more files, some of them directories, can't see that at the moment um, but the only thing we're interested in at the moment is name and that's a file so if we point ourselves at the name file and we cat it oh, there you go video zero today is not the internal camera it is the one that's perched up on top of the screen uh, what are the others that's the integrated internal webcam, and that is your webcam. So great, we can get the names of all these devices, and we can map them to their device number, essentially. But how do we now use this information to our advantage? Well, as always, by writing a script. So I'm going to write a script and I'm going to put it in my .files bin so that I can get to it and it will be called uh, find camera. It will be a bin bash script and it will be executable. And now we've got highlighting. Excellent. So. First off, let's just iterate over all the devices we've got and print out their device file and their name. So, for device in sys class, get them out 
this out of the way. Video, oh, can't type complete here. Video for Linux star. So everything in the video for Linux directory. Do, done. So that's our loop. Now we want the dev path, and we're going to have to construct that, but that's okay because we've got all the bits. So declare dev path equals, and it'll be a string, and it'll begin with slash dev, and then it'll have this bit of the path. So because device is going to be the complete path, we're going to run it through base name first just to get the end bit. So we'll use a process substitution to inject the output of that into the string and say base name device. And I know that there won't be any spaces in this path, so I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, we also want the name. Now because the name is in a file of its own, we can read that using the read built in and a standard in redirection. So read name and we're going to redirect in the contents of device name cool uh, there we go. echo dev path to name and if we run this find camera there they all are now, let's say that we just want the dev path of the camera that matches a bit of the name. Let us wrap this in a conditional. So we can still get the list if we provide no arguments. So if dollar hash, which is number of arguments, is eq equal to integer comparison, zero, then we can do that stuff and exit zero because everything was good and we're done with that condition. If we do have an argument, so if dollar hash eq1, so just the one argument, then fee and Similar to above, we're going to loop over them all, so there we go, pop that in there, and we're not actually going to need to do that, so we don't definitely don't need to echo, um, don't even really need that, so if the fragment of name that we've given in argument one exists or is found within the name file. So we'll use grep for that. If grep q, because we don't need grep to output anything. If we find our name fragment, the first argument in device name, then we can just echo out this. And actually, let's echo out and then exit zero and we're done. If we completed and iterated over all of those items and haven't exited at this point, then we know that we're not going to find it or we haven't found it, and we can exit one. And that should be all that's necessary. Let's give it a go. Find camera C920. Boom. Find camera UBC. And webcam. Yep. There we go. Now uh, find camera spoon. Oh, spawn, if you will. Didn't get any output, and the exit code was. Didn't need to quote that. One. Excellent. So there you go. There's a little script that will find the device file of a given webcam by its name. And uh, my laptop is struggling a little bit with recording and doing this at the same time, so uh, I'll sign off. Hope that was useful. Bye.